Okay, so I have, um, obviously I've tracked more uh, features, and I'm starting to get some green patches in here in the lifetimes of all this. But right now I'm tracking the corner of my eye, and I thought it would be a good time to, to show you a bit of how I do this. Because my eye is blinking a lot. Um, so, right here, we're right before a blink, and the pattern changes so much that synth eyes can't figure that out. So I have to go in and manually place the tracker and stay on target. Uh, and it's just a matter of kind of managing what synth eyes is looking at. So right here where my eyes open, I'm it kind of the epicanthic folds of my eye and the, the end of my eyelid are right here. And I need to kind of stay on the end of my eyelid. And that is what I'm trying to uh, stay locked on to. Again, there are going to be errors. I'm going to not be correct, but I'm going to track enough features that when we get to the solving point, it will uh, it'll nullify. The error will get spread across a bunch of trackers, and, and so that's, that's what we're shooting for. And as I track forward, you see I'm creating more green down here, which is a great thing. It's a good, good thing. Oh boy. Okay. Stay at the end of the eyelid. If it became too hard for me to see what I was looking at, I might go back and hit the P key and readjust these um, these values, like I could set the gamma to one and zero at this high value. That's of course gonna kill all the frames that we brought, or all the frames that were cached, but it might make it easier for us to follow along with what's happening. in the footage. And uh, as you can see, as we move forward in time, the number of trackers that we have active, we're creating more green patches, which is really what we want, so. Oh, we might have to shut this one off. I might totally lose it. But we're gonna hold on, we're gonna try and hold on. Now my eyebrow, my bushy eyebrow is getting in the way. I'm gonna turn it off. There's just no way to see. I think we're back right about here. Z key. Oh hey, there was my uh, there was my lunch notification. I'm supposed to go eat lunch now. My computer tells me everything. It is the boss of me. All right. Aim for the middle of the blur. Aim for the middle of the blur, people. Oh boy. We're so far off target here. Okay. We want to be down here. So you can see me iteratively like tracking forward and saying, yeah, I think it's generally about there. But then as a new, uh, as the feature starts becoming more clear, I see I'm way off target. And so then I re-aim 
and uh, I determine, oh, well, it looks like the frames before where I aimed incorrectly have to be revisited. So that's what's, that's what's going on there. Me going back and forth, tracking, 2D tracking manually and getting it on target. We're gonna do that five key trick in a minute. It's one of my pet peeves, by the way. I can't believe I just said it. Uh, the pet peeve being tips and tricks, tricks that you can use to, they, they're never tricks. They're actually not tricks. They're just <laughs> the proper way to do things. <laughs> tricks indicates that there's some sort of hijinks going on. But now, no tricks here. Just work. So we're getting to the end of this one. So I'm going to stop the recording at the end of this uh, tracker, or shortly after. I might I might show you where I'm going to start looking for another feature to track. Well, that can't be right face doesn't move. So why am I deciding that that needs to jump way down? It really doesn't. There we go. Oh, I think we might be able to take it all the way to the end, and we do. So good, we're starting to get a lot more green down here, so that's a great thing. It's really good. Uh, let's hit the five key center up that tracker and see how well I did. Pretty good. I think there's a little jump right after the the gap. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's just a trick of the, the mere fact that there was a jump. Yep, sure enough. That's what it looks like. Um, all right. Even through all those blinks, we stay pretty stable. I see I'm, I'm, I should be actually aiming for the, the tear duct through here. So let's, let's um, nudge to get back on target closer to the tear duct. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, down. And now we're, now we're on. And even through here, and we're gonna pull it back closer to that tear duct. Hey, you know what, for what it's worth, uh, if you ever have people ask you, why, why does this track cost me so much money? Why can't, you know, doesn't the computer just do all the work? You can send them this video and show them just how much the computer doesn't do any work other than to generate electricity bills. So, yeah, that's much better. Um, and we'll lock it up. Now, I'm going to probably do the same thing for the outside corners of my eye uh, next using the same set of principles that I, I did the... Uh, the inside corner of this eye. So I'm going to do all four um, eye corners and the first one being done. And uh, and there you go. So I'm going to stop this recording now and I'll, I'll pick it back up in the future when I have even more things tracked. <laughs>